In this video, I'm going to be guiding you through Chapter 3.7, Types of Markets. Firstly, we'll be looking at competitive markets. A competitive market will have an immense degree of competition. Here are some features of competitive markets. They are price takers, as the price are determined by market forces. This means that businesses are unable to set the price, as if they move the price, consumers will end up going somewhere else. The quality is pretty similar. They will be relatively high due to an immense competitive market. The choice for goods and services is abundant as there are many buyers and sellers. And because there are many competitors within the market, profit margins are very low. The advantages of competitive market is that products tend to be higher quality and customer service will be good. The reason for this is because businesses are trying to compete for the same market share. There's more choice for customers, low prices and higher output for customers and there's a big incentive for firms to innovate to keep ahead of its competition. The disadvantages of competitive markets is that firms will unfortunately go out of business due to fierce competition. They are unable to innovate due to low profits. Firms will overspend on marketing, which is an opportunity cost, as this money could be spent on product quality instead, and they have less market share due to high levels of competition. Now moving on to monopoly markets. A monopoly is one supplier of a good or a service. This is due to a lack of substitute goods. They are price makers, which means they control the market so they can charge any price they want. A monopoly will have many trade secrets, such as proprietary information that nobody else has. Therefore, they have what we call imperfect knowledge. And also, they have high barriers to entry so they make obstacles preventing other firms from entering the market. These barriers include legal barriers, control over key resources, high capital requirements, brand loyalty, and being fully vertically integrated, meaning having control of the supply chain, the manufacturing, and the distribution of goods and services. The advantages of a monopoly is that it controls market supply. This allows them to benefit from economies of scale, which could result in lower prices for consumers. They have the financial resources to invest, so R&D can help generate different ideas, products and processes. And lastly, the benefit of a monopoly is that they are able to provide essential goods at a lower cost than multiple firms. Think of your underground transportation system. The disadvantages of a monopoly, however, is that they are very inefficient because they pursue profit maximization, so they sacrifice further output. Moreover, they have very high barriers to entry, which prevents potential competitors and substitutes to take their market share. And finally, there is no incentive to innovate, as they are complacent as they sacrifice quantity and quality of goods and services in the pursuit of saving costs, resources and continue to profit maximize. I hope that helped. I hope you guys have a good day. Bye bye.